My name is Bakhtar, Bakhtar and I'm a student of human medicine in Trachea University, Sazagora. How, how do you affect uh, virus, COVID virus on my daily life and my uh, university life? I will tell you about this. Hello, my name is Gianluca Cirone. I am in second year veterinary medical faculty of Trakia University in Stata Zagora, Bulgaria. I was set to arrive just not too long after the first COVID outbreak. And this definitely slowed down my paperwork and it was definitely a close call. I'm very lucky and managed to have everything done in time to arrive at the university and start the new semester. The COVID situation was quite good in the summer because uh, so that's why so it, it doesn't affect on my uh, on my application and this thing. Uh, so in this case, so it wasn't any problem, and I don't think those who is uh, uh, want to study for next year, I don't think they have, they will have also problem. And it was normal, we start university as normally in the personal. It wasn't, uh, it was face to face, not online. Regarding the travel, so it wasn't so big problem because in European Union, we have COVID pass that, uh, that, is, uh, that you can use anywhere you want to go. If you are vaccinated and or uh, if you show that you are negative, so it wasn't any problem with uh, traveling, and it was uh, all the restriction was uh, dropped down in that time in summertime. So the COVID situation in Sao Zagora is basically the same as the rest of the country. It's dependent on the current restrictions and laws, and they are required to follow the laws set forth by the Bulgarian government. Typically, you would need to provide uh, green certificates or any other proof that you are not contaminated with the virus to enter a lot of clubs, restaurants and such. The life out of university is quite easy. If, you're, if you have COVID vaccine, you can go everywhere. You just show your COVID vaccine card, or maybe if you take the test, uh, antigen or PCR, so it, it can help you. But uh, if you don't have anything, you can't go to malls, and you can't go to clubs, or you can't go to places that they have some instruction for that. So mostly people, students, have done vaccinated, they are vaccinated. So we don't have too much problem in this case. The virus doesn't affect on our uh, social life. We still hang out with the friends, with the other students. So it doesn't affect uh, as it was before, because all the students are still in the Bulgaria. I imagine that had the virus outbreak not occurred, there would be a lot more of a social and student environment. But whenever there were opportunities whenever lockdowns and restrictions were dropped for whatever period of time. Students took advantage of that. They went, they did more activities, clubs opened, restaurants opened, and we got to ha enjoy a little bit of a student life and a little bit, of, little bit more of socialization between colleagues and classmates. The viral outbreak definitely affected um, the typical first year schedule. We spent a large amount of first year online doing lectures and even practical work. A lot of the anatomy dissections had to be filmed by the professors prior to the time. That and chemistry lab experiments were filmed by the lectures and then those videos were then provided to us to study, watch and remember. With first year being online predominantly, many students actually went to their home countries and were able to study and work through the online formats. That and exams 
of my first year were completely online. We did all exams online and you received your marks, your grades through the online platforms, which were working quite efficiently. So that helped a lot. There wasn't too many issues with regard to the online learning system. First year, it was very up and down in terms of switching between in presence and online. Of course, the university definitely wants us in presence to get the most out of the learning uh, experience, out of student experience and especially for practical activities. But whenever there were concerns, the university tried to do their best to make a decision in our best interests and put everything online. Second year has been better with regards to the hybrid learning system and with regards to the virus. There has been a lot more in-present training with only lectures being online and practicals being conducted in person in smaller groups with special considerations for the virus and preventing the spread of the virus. The big change to this was the introduction of the vaccines and of course the European green certificates. This was the main reason we were able to conduct more in-person learning activities. For safety measures in class, it is um, mandatory to wear masks and the rooms are sanitized. It's not mandatory that the students uh, had to be vaccinated. There were other options, but in this case, it would be the option of proving that you, are, that you are healthy via PCR test or a rapid antigen test. A lot of these were provided, like the antigen test, for example, was provided by the university to the students that needed to attend practicals. For the requirement in the university regarding COVID situation, we should show them the COVID pass if we, did vaccinate, if we are vaccinated. If not, so we have to be, uh, so we have to show the PCR test or antigen test each time we are going there. And of course, so we should wear masks when we are in the classroom or when we are in the, inside the building. So this is the current COVID situation here at present. Hopefully it only improves from now, but in the meantime, stay safe.